So, guys, let's talk about the toughest running backs to defend. And, Baldy, I have a feeling I know where you're going here. Well, I think you got to start with the king, MJ. You know, Derrick Henry. I mean, just, you know, if Marvel Studios were smart, they would create a superhero based on Derrick Henry. Because physically, you know, when I look at him, I look at him eye to eye, and he's bigger than me. And, you know, his greatest strength is his size. You know, he's got breakaway speed, obviously. We have seen that with 99-yard runs. But you can't physically get to his body. You can't tattoo him. That You can watch his 800 touches over the last two years, and nobody has blown him up. Nobody takes him off his feet. And so, you know, everybody says the same thing. Every week, eight-man fronts, we got to gang tackle him, we got to put hats on him, bodies to him. But it's hard to get to his body. He is a Marvel superhero, and I think he just keeps marching on. Yeah, I agree with that, Baldy. He's the, one of the best backs in all of football, but my pick might surprise a lot of people. Let's go on to the Seattle Seahawks, Chris Carson. This guy is the definition of tough, right? When defensive coordinators are planning to play the Seattle Seahawks, they're telling their safeties and linebackers, you better buckle up your chin strap Bring your big boy pads, because this guy will punish you. The thing that separates him from a lot of backs, he's 5'11", 225 pounds, but he has lower body strength. You can see it in a lot of these clips. Defensive linemen are bouncing off this guy. I asked Carlos Dunlap, what makes Chris Carson so tough to defend? He says it's because he's a decisive runner, and he will run you flat over. Also, I said, he, I believe he's a tone setter for this offense, right? When he gets going, the Seattle Seahawks get going. He said, definitely, he's a tone setter on our offense, and we actually feed off of that on defense. So Chris Carson, a physical guy, back-to-back 1,000-yard season in the 2018-2019, would have had that this past year if he hadn't got hurt.